Global warming is a big problem, and another big problem is the deforestation of our planet and the extermination of wildlife within the forests and jungles we destroy. Most people know about the destruction of the Amazon, but deforestation is happening across the globe and isn't just a problem in the Amazon. Trees give us the air we breathe, and widespread deforestation puts us in danger, and there are various tribes and animals put in danger. Today we'll be looking through some of the most deforested areas in the world and what countries they lie in. Before we begin our video, be sure to hit the like button to help us out. We're excited to share 10 of the top deforesting countries in the world. Now, here are 10 countries that make our list. Number 10. Indonesia Our first stop at number 10 in Indonesia, a group of islands that used to be almost completely covered in forests, but has now been cut down quite substantially. The islands have plenty of lowland tropical forests, and with most of these islands being covered in forests, only 65% of those trees remain. Much of this deforestation has been done since the 1970s for pulp and paper companies, as well as palm oil companies. It is also estimated that 80% of the logging done in the country is actually done illegally. A lot of the pulp and paper companies that required logging were based in China and Japan. Another cause of deforestation is the conversion of this forest land into farmland, done by cutting down the forest and burning the area. These things have Indonesia into the top three countries producing greenhouse gases behind China and America. With number 10 being this crazy, I'm sure you can imagine that this list will only get crazier and crazier, and this country certainly deserves a spot on this list. Number 9. Honduras We're now moving to South America in Honduras, a country that was covered in lush forests and rainforests that has sadly declined. 50% of the country used to be covered in trees, and now only 52% of those trees remain. There's also a very simple concept that will become useful with other countries, and that is how much of the trees are left that are forested. Being forested is the idea that these remaining trees are not just scattered across the country, but are all together with a canopy. Only 16% of those remaining trees in Honduras are forested. The rainforests of Honduras actually are home to a lot of diverse species of wildlife, including jaguars, giant anteaters, and the endangered Baird's tapir. It is insane that this is causing damage to unprotected endangered species. Most of this deforestation has been done for cattle farming. Honduras is a beautiful country, but they continue to diminish their beauty by destroying their forests and because of that they're on the list. Number 8. Benin Next we'll be going to Benin, a country located in Africa that had a good amount of tree cover due to the jungles. The country had about 16% of its land covered by trees originally, which may seem low, but the next fact is what makes it crazy. Only 4% of those original trees are left. On top of all that, none of those trees are forested and are scattered through plains in the countryside. There are many reasons associated with deforestation, like the country expanding its infrastructure to modernize logging and agriculture. These forests provide homes to the wildlife, income to the citizens, and income to the country as a whole, and cutting them down is actively making the country worse. This is one of the few countries on the list that recognizes the negative effects of deforestation on their land and very recently has actually begun working on foresting the country again, to bring back habitats for the wildlife and income for the people. As bad as deforestation is in the country, the fact that they're changing their ways means they're on the right path, and keeps them from being higher up on this list. Number 7. Haiti We're going close to the US with number 7. Haiti, a country constantly ravaged by natural disasters and poverty. Deforestation is also becoming a huge problem in the country, with the island originally having most of it covered with forests, and now only 1% of those forests remain. This entire deforestation effort is done for many similar reasons as the previous countries. Deforestation is done mainly for agriculture, which sadly is done incorrectly, with most of the plants like corn and beans being used for this land being unsuited for the mountainous terrain. Obviously, this is affecting the wildlife and plant life in the country greatly. Experts estimate that by 2035, half of Haiti's plant species will be wiped out, this is also very dangerous to the animals with armadillos, bears, macaws, and many more animals being put in danger by this deforestation. Overall, it's a sad predicament for a country that's already constantly in danger from extreme weather, and that's why it's where it is on the list. Number 6. The Philippines At number 6 we're going to the Philippines, a group of islands that used to be covered in lush rainforests and teeming with wildlife. With the islands originally being almost completely covered in rainforests, of that 35% of the trees remain and only 28% are forested. Like Indonesia, the Philippines are under pressure from powerhouses like China and Japan for lumber. Logging isn't the only cause of deforestation, with forest fires, agricultural expansions, and mining operations sharing the blame. An unknown number of this deforestation is done illegally. 
These businesses take advantage of the Philippines to destroy their own country so they can become wealthier. The Philippines is home to many endangered species, including a monkey-eating eagle, a species of crocodile, the mouse deer, and many more. All these animals' populations in the wild are dropping, and their habitats are being made smaller and smaller, and are constantly in danger of being completely destroyed. Another country is taken advantage of by world superpowers to destroy their own country and the wildlife within for gains in wealth. We're now halfway through our video. We hope you're enjoying learning about these endangered forests. We still have five more countries to go, so stay with us. Number 5. North Korea We'll now be taking a trip to the Hermit Kingdom of North Korea, whose mass deforestation is for extremely tragic regions. For being another lush and beautiful country, they really have caused mass destruction to their environment, with only 39% of their original trees remaining. Not only does deforestation cause problems for the country, but the cause for the deforestation is problems in the country. The main reasons for deforestation are agriculture, logging, and natural disasters, but one of the biggest causes is mass starvation. The mass famines that have happened in the country have forced citizens to cut down major sections of their forests for firewood and food. This is especially tragic because of the suffering for the people and animals of the country. This is not a policy issue within the country, but an issue with the country itself, and fixing their system is the only way to prevent further deforestation and suffering within the country. It's a very sad state that North Korea is in, but that does not take away from the fact that they've caused mass deforestation, and that's why it's on this list. Number 4. Nepal At number 4, we're going to the home of the Tibet monks in Mount Everest in Nepal. Estimates on how much of the country was originally forest, but we know from census data collected in the mid to late 20th century that only 22% of the original trees remain, none of which are considered forested. The census was taken also shows that the country has deforested 25% of its trees in the past 20 years, a very sad situation for the country. Deforestation has many causes ranging from over-harvesting for firewood all the way to cutting them down to make room for cattle. Deforestation affects the population by depleting the supplies for firewood as well as causing natural disasters, such as landslides and lowland flooding. This also affects the habitats of animals in the country, with endangered species like the greater one-horned rhinoceros and Bengal tiger being encroached upon by deforestation. Probably one of the last countries you would have thought of on the list, but the mass deforestation is real and has real effects on the people living there, and that is why Nepal's on the list. Number 3. Nigeria We're back in Africa in Nigeria. Near the Congo, it has plenty of forests, and sadly that is the setup for it being on this list. Half of the country used to be covered in trees, but now only a tenth of the country is covered in trees, and only 1% is forested. In the past 20 years, they've cut down 36% of their trees. This puts them at one of the highest deforestation rates in the world. This is also done for the usual reasons, which include agriculture, logging, and mining. This has major effects on the population and animal life within the country. Deforestation endangers animals from losing their habitats, and has pushed some animals out of the country already. Those animals include the cheetah, the pygmy hippopotamus, the giraffe, and more. This is extremely dangerous, and has already shown that this deforestation is greatly affecting the environment. This is an example of how deforestation affects the environment in the long term, and should be used as an example of what not to do with your forested land, and that's why it's at number 3 on the list. Number 2. Ecuador We're almost at the top of this list, and we're heading to Ecuador, a very mountainous area of South America with large jungles. Ecuador has deforested 48.6% of its trees within the last two decades. But since beginning its deforestation, they have deforested a total of 99.2% of its trees. This is astounding, and it only gets crazier when you factor in the damages done to animal species and the people living in the country. Like the other countries on the list, deforestation has put many animal species in danger, and those animals include spider monkeys, night monkeys, marmosets, and more. All those monkeys are now endangered, and the rapid deforestation is not improving situation. All of this is done for agriculture, logging, cattle ranchers, oil palm plantations and mining. This is already negatively affecting the people living within the country with the country's biggest dam having its lifespan reduced due to increased erosion caused by deforestation. Deforestation has negatively affected the country and has only increased in speed, which is why Ecuador is at number 2 on the list. You're nearly at the end of our video. Which city do you think will take the number 1 spot? We're on a mission to explore all of Earth's amazing destinations. Make sure you're subscribed, that way you'll always be notified of our latest videos. Number 1. Ghana We're finally at the top of the list, with Ghana at number 1, another country close to the Congo that used to be covered with thick jungle cover. The country actually used to have 66% of it covered by trees, but deforestation has only left less than 10% of that tree cover. 
Experts have found that in the last 20 years, the deforestation rate has been at 28%, an extreme amount of loss that will be very hard. Deforestation has caused water bodies to dry up, depleting water supplies to the people, and specifically the second largest city in the country, Kumasi. All of this is done for the exploitation of the country's resources, through illegal operations in logging, mining, and agricultural expansion. The country also boasts the highest deforestation rate in the world, with Ghana cutting down 2% of its forest cover per year. The country is a classic example of the corruption that goes with mass deforestation, with illegal operations over-exploiting the environment. It might not have the most animals affected by deforestation, but water supply is depleting in a country where high temperatures are the norm spells a recipe for disaster, and that's why it's at the top of our list. Hey, thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below. Check out our Cities playlist for more videos like this one.